Hello everybody. Someone I know of a modded Nintendo Switch and when I tried to start Super Mario 64 the day all stars it crashed. I read more stories about this on the internet so I started a research and technical analysis about this phenomenon. Why does this crash happen? Does it anything have to do with modding, the custom firmware or is it a coincidence? Is it a hardware or a software issue? In this video I will research it and we will get the answer. First it just started 3 day all stars at the Chu64, then I had to wait, and then it crashed. I did some research on the internet and I found out what is the most common reason. Here my technical analyze. It is possible that your game file is corrupted for some reason, and that you are therefore not able to start the game anymore or play it correctly. But the most common reason for this crash, and any other crash with the Super Mario 64 3 day all starts on Nintendo Switch uh, devices with mo the modded firmware atmosphere, is that there were some problems with the JetSys module from firmware 10.0.0, which is used by the Super Mario 3 day all stars. For example, there is a process handle leak that makes it impossible to exit processes that use yet, and some atmosphere extension was disabled for yet you. Which will, re which will result in crashes when you start a program that uses JIT services more than once per reboot. In version 0.14.4 of Atmosphere, these problems are fixed. If you experience the crash on the same way as you saw in the video I just showed, then I think the problem with the Atmosphere extension is the cause of the problem, as I recognize the part that starting a pro program will result in a crash. I am not like much experience with uh, modded switches. Except the times I tried to start Super Mario 64 uh, the day after on a Switch, which is not my own Switch. So to be honest, I even don't know for sure if the system has been rebooted at this point. But as far as I can remember, we reboot the system as I tried start starting the game again after the first error to make a video about it. And it still crashed as you can see in my video. So I don't recognize the part that it will crash when you uh, start a program more than once per reboot. Yesterday we looked to the switch again and after an update to version 0.14.4 of Atmosphere, it was still crashing. So I'm afraid that something else went wrong, for example that the game file has been corrupted. That also can be a reason for this problem. But we don't have much time, so probably we have overseen something, as I'm still pretty sure that it has something to do with the JIT module based on my research. I will look further to it, and when I find the exact cause of the problem I will uh, put an edit in the description of the video to make my analysis complete. But based on my research I can assume that what I explained above is the most common reason of this problem. Two weeks later. So I tried to update it to Atmosphere 0.14.4 and the update itself was succe successful. But to my surprise it was still crashing when I opened Super Mario 3D All Stars and selected Super Mario 64. So I thought the game file itself was corrupted because it also can be a reason that the game will crash. I was still researching this issue in when I was making uh, my previous video and suspected that it had something to do with outdated firmware and I was correct. I updated the Atmosphere firmware to the new version, updated Hecate to the new version, but I also updated the system firmware itself to the new version. And after that Super Mario 64 was finally starting, on, so finally starting, so my conclusion is that the crash was happening because of an outdated uh, custom firmware and an outdated system firmware. After updating both, the crash was no longer happening. When you have a normal Nintendo Switch, which is not modded, then you always get a message that you need to update your firmware when you will try to play Super Mario 3D Alsters on an outdated system firmware. Most of all, they are forcing you to update the system firmware or they will not let you start the game. This is to prevent such a crash. The custom firmware does not give such a warning and just open the game without any notice. Therefore you will experience this crash. Nintendo does not, so, does not show the message for nothing. So if you experience this crash, you likely have a modern Nintendo Switch and the system on custom firmware are outdated. Thanks for watching. Please know that I don't promote the firmware mentioned in this analysis. My video is a pure analyze which I like to do because of my great interest in tech related things like phones and computers and therefore also game consoles and I want to share the possible cause of this error. 
since I was only four years, four years old, I already was very interested in everything about phones and computers. And for some reason, error messages and software crashes always appeals to me. With this video, I want to share my, my knowledge, research and suspicion about the problem, but I am not affiliated or sponsored by the firmware. I also don't promote piracy of games, so this video will not share links to illegal download locations of games and will not instruct how to play pirated games. Any depiction of gameplay or software interf interface is purely educational to illustrate the problem and when it occurs. I also think this video can clarify the issue and even prevent confusion about the game itself, as this video makes it clear that this issue can only happen on modded switch devices. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching.